The Six Invitational is the biggest esports event for Rainbow Six Siege. The tournament is comprised from teams from around the world from different regions. These teams have either been picked because they've came top of their localised major event, or because they've been invited directly by Ubisoft. This year, there are 20 teams competing from four different regions. The bracket style is a single round robin with a double elimination. Teams have been divided into four equal groups of five for the group stage. Group stages. Placements within each group is dependent on points, which can be seen somewhere, or somewhere here. First place in each bracket will be put into the second round in the upper stage. Second and third place will be placed into the first round in the upper bracket, and the fourth place will be placed into the first round lower bracket. Fifth place, you're out of here. You're gone. Mm -mm. Howdy. Playoffs. The bracket. Double elimination style gives teams in the upper brackets the chance to redeem themselves if they lose a round. When a team is knocked out in the upper bracket, they are moved down into the lower bracket. The winner in the previous lower bracket round or seed now needs to play against them. The winner of the match outcome will progress through the lower bracket, while the loser will be removed from the tournament. Many more matches are played in the lower bracket, due to teams constantly cycling down into the lower bracket and to be eliminated. This makes the tournament more intense because teams are fighting to stay in the tournament for a longer amount of time. All of the matches, except the grand final, will be a best of three. This means that a minimum of two maps will be played and a maximum of three maps. The grand final is a unique exception to this, where it will have a best of five. To make this a bit more interesting, I've cooked something up to make the regions a bit more interesting. Welcome to the Rainbow Invitational Story Center, where we host the four strongest regions for the Six Invitational. Let's open her up, shall we? Yeah, right, well then. Give us two seconds. Fucking stupid thing. Right, starting us off we have NA, known as Near Airport for a reason. They used to be pretty good, and now they're just... Yeah. They've got five teams under their belt competing, and it'll be a gift of God's arse cheeks if they win. On the opposite side of the bench is Latam, absolute freaks of nature. Won last year. If one of their teams isn't in the final, I'll be starstruck. They've got six teams, so the chances of not taking the medal home are pretty slim. Yeah. Second last year was Apec. Not much is ever said about them throughout the year, and they don't seem to take shit lightly from anyone. People have got their eyes on them this year, and they've got a good chance of taking home a medal too. And finally, we've got EU. What the fuck is this? This is a storage centre, not a playground. As I was saying, EU are a very mixed group. They've got some good teams, but don't be expected a park walk like some of the others. They pride themselves on utter shit posting, and I'm pretty sure that's the best thing they're good at. Not much else. Overall, I will be rooting for them. But it's just a bit of own pride. Each of the teams have their own traits and personalities. These help shape their playstyle, operator choices, and overall gameplay and movement. Getting to know some of the teams and getting to learn these mechanics can be really useful for both just learning about the team as a whole and learning about how to actually play the game at a better level. If it's your first time getting to Rainbow Six Esports, I definitely recommend sticking with one of these teams. I'm not saying that they're going to win, but I'm saying that they're quite understandable in what they do and their gameplay can be quite interesting to watch. One thing though that I cannot stress enough is use Liquipedia. Want to know when your team's playing next? Liquipedia. Want to know what the previous scores were for matches you didn't watch? Liquipedia. Want to know if there's been roster changes to your team? Liquipedia. It'll be down below in the comments or in the description. Use it. Apart from that, I hope that's uh, helped clear stuff up for uh, SI and Rainbow Six Esports in general. So uh, thank you very much, ciao.